Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya! Traveler, Paimon! Cool, you're here too! <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling's very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Of course! Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys! So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, 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 what, a canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well if it wasn't Sanganomiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kinda like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Sounds like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Art? Me? <laughs> Does knitting sweaters count? Absolutely! Knitting is totally an art form. Just... Not a very rock and roll one, I guess. I don't think I'll be doing any knitting tonight. No, not with that attitude. You could, uh, knit sweaters with rock and roll and big letters, then get everyone to wear them. Hmm, good idea. I'll look into it next time. <laughs> 